And the Fremantle skipper joins me live now in bed with the Eagles, Pav. You've done it all now, mate. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of that, Baz. I'll leave any comment or further in bed comments to you. Take it as a compliment, Pav. Those uh, okay. wacky FM radio guys, you never know. Eight games to 300. Have you given the milestone any thought? It will be a wonderful achievement when you get there. Look, I haven't. Uh, is, as a day today athlete and a full-time professional player, you don't actually have a chance to really look too far ahead. And I know it sounds like a cliche and it's what we dish out all the time, but it's the absolute truth. So. Well, look, sorry, Pav, let me ask you this one. Is it right to say you'd swap all of your individual honours and accolades for a premiership? You're at that end of your career now. Look, I absolutely would love to, to win a premiership, as would a lot of our senior players. But um, as we know, we're a long way away from that time of the year and um, you know it's one of those things that I have been able to achieve a bit individually over my career. Um, you know they're nice things along the way but team success is all that the players at Fremantle are concerned about. Sandy Fit, you've had a full pre-season. Fife another year, more depth with Sylvia. Are you a better team this year? Well we think so. Um, we've certainly trained on from last year. We've really seen the guys have a really strong appetite for the work over the pre-season and Starting last Friday night was a um, really impressive win against the, the Pies. It certainly was. Has Ryan Crowley been warming up for Gary Ablett? He has been, yeah. He's been starting to get his sweat brands ready and making sure that uh, he wears him like a glove. Uh, fantastic play. He's obviously played on him, but I think we're probably underrating some of the other Gold Coast midfielders. There's a few emerging um, and up-and-coming players in that group that Ryan may actually go to in the end. Sure. Around the league, anyone else in pressure in round one? Look, I think the performance of the likes of Geelong and Hawthorne, um, Port Adelaide and, uh, and probably the Gold Coast themselves, obviously it's a bit more of a focus on them this week, but um, they were ultra impressive and we're going to have to be certainly on our game this Saturday night. It's the Purple Haze game on Saturday night, Pav. We wish you all the best. Stay out of bed. Thank you. <laughs> Matthew Pavlich.